Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this week I'm going to be sharing with you guys some items I got from a pretty big BH Cosmetics haul a few weeks back. And as I show you guys which items I got and the amazing prices I got on them, I'm also going to be demoing them for you on my face so that you can see this look that I got. Now I will say it's not a full face of BH Cosmetics. They do offer all the products that you could do a full face, but I just ended up buying the products that I was interested in at the time and the ones that were on sale. So I will leave in the description any of the products that I did not talk about in this video down there. So if you'd like to see that, keep on watching. Okay, so I went ahead and put on my foundation, primer, brows, things like that that I didn't get items from the BH sale. So I will make sure to leave a list of those down below. Um, the next thing I'm gonna go in with is powder. So I got two different kinds of powder. Um, I got the under eye brightening powder in shade in shade fair light. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. So I'm gonna try to use both of these powders. Um, I'm gonna use one under the eye and then the other for the rest of the face. The other powder is a translucent setting powder. Um, when you open up this under eye brightening powder, it actually does come with a little poof, so that's really nice. Um, and this product, this only set me back $2.70. Now, I will say, guys, all of these products, they were running their Black Friday special when I got it, so you can get all of these items. However, they won't be quite as cheap as they were when I got them in this video, so sorry about the timing on that, but they are still products that they carry and they are available at still a very affordable price. So there's a little sifter here, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it tip it to sift a little powder there, and then I'm gonna use a little poof as included to hopefully brighten my under eye. Okay, pro tip, a lot comes through that sifter all at once, so don't shake it for as often as I did. I'm gonna try to put some back because that was entirely too much, like almost the whole bottle came to the top, which was kind of terrifying to open up and it's all right there, so be careful. Now I'll be honest on first impression of using this, um, I don't know how much it's actually brightening the other the under eye. It's definitely setting my concealer nicely. There's no creasing. It feels very finely milled. It's looking really smoothing to the skin, so I like all of that, but I think I almost might be able to use that powder as an all over the face powder, even though it says under eye brightening powder. So I will have to keep using that and keep you guys posted. Um, the next one, like I said, I'm going in with is the translucent powder. And the translucent powder, you guys, on that sale, I was able to get this for $3.60. I should mention that both powders also had a little mirror in the lid. Um, the other one's a little bit easier to use, I think, just because it was more of a like open, folded, connected, compact. This, I think, would be a little weird to hold with one hand in just the cap, but maybe not. This sifter is the same way, so I'm going to be a little more careful this time. So this is kind of cool. I just realized I did it wrong and screwed the whole thing off. You know how I said it was weird to hold it up because it was two pieces? Well, it's not two pieces. I was just being dumb. So sorry about that, guys. Um, I will say, though, this lid doesn't hold very tightly because when you turn it over to put stuff into the rest of the lid to use it, it's literally going everywhere. Like there's a huge powder mess. So that's not really cool, not my favorite, not loving it. Gonna try to powder the rest of my face and not make a huge mess. That's like the packaging though, not the product really there, the fault of that. So I don't powder my face all the time. But usually when I do, it's either because I'm using a foundation that's more luminous and I prefer a matte consistency, so I like to set it that way. Or, you know, if I'm baking, obviously, if I'm about to use um, a palette I know has a lot of fallout or one I've never used before and I'm not sure if it's going to have fallout, just like I am today because I did pick up a palette as part of my haul.
so I'm not doing a ton, but I am putting a little extra powder under the eyes in case we experience any fallout here. So next I'm going to go in with the eyes. I picked up the Hangin' in Hawaii palette here. It's got 16 shades in it. Um, and I know this is one of their newer palettes. I think it's normally like $16, but I picked it up for $6.40. So I was like, hey, if I'm gonna try it, now's the time. So here's what it looks like on the inside. It's really pretty, nice cardboard packaging. It's got a mirror in the top. And here are the shades. It's a really nice like neutral palette, but that's kind of been my vibe lately. So I like the nice mix of mattes and shimmers in here. So we're going to create a look with this today. I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild crease brush. I'm going to start with Shaka. Whoops. Shaka, which is this top kind of brown transition-y shade. There does seem to be fallout. So just like what I've told you guys in the ColourPop. Oh, wow. I did not prime my eye. Forgive me. Let's go back a minute here, shall we? Okay. Whew. Almost didn't prime. I will say it still had quite a bit of pigment even without primer to help it show up, guys. But as I was going to say, um, just like I was telling you in my last video with the ColourPop um, Frozen palettes, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, just tap it off the excess either on the side of it or into the pan so that it's not underneath. Or like I did put a little bit of extra powder. I'm looking kind of ghostly right now with how much powder I have, but we'll warm up the face later and it'll look fine eventually. Okay, now that we have that transition shade, I'm gonna go in with Honolulu, this darker shade down here, and deepen up just the outer corners of the eye. These seem to be blending fairly well so far. I'm not really having any issues at all. Um, and then for the rest of the lid, I'm gonna go in with this really pink, pretty metallic luau here. And I'm gonna try my finger first to see how it goes that way. Oh yes, that is definitely gonna be your guys' preferred method of application, I would say, is fingers. Maybe a wetted brush if you want to kick up the ante on your metallic a little bit more. But this is working really well. Okay, and then I'm going to use that brush that had Honolulu, that darker shade, just to make sure it's blended at the edges between the metallic and that color really well. And then I'm going to go back in with Shaka one more time, just to make sure that color didn't get lost at all on the top here. Yeah, so there we have it. I'm gonna blend, I think, take, with no new product, my Sigma Beauty Blending Brush E25. Just to make sure the edges are looking nice and good and nothing's looking patchy. Do have a little follow under the eyes, but not too much. That's why we had the powder there. So I'll wipe that away. I don't, I'm not feeling too smoky today, so I'm not gonna go with any shadow under the lash line today. I'm just gonna keep it simple. And you know, sometimes you might be like, ooh, that looks really patchy or spotty. It doesn't really in person. And once you add liner and lash, it really looks fine. I promise it does. So for six bucks, I think this is a really winner palette. Obviously only one with, in with uh, three of the 16 shades. You know what, actually, let's see if there's one that'll be good for an inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. I'm going to use first shade Hula here. I'm going to take a tiny little liner brush, go in with that for the inner corner, and under the brow bone, just to brighten it up a little bit more in those couple areas. Let's see if you can see that at all. So you can see that, that uh, color I added just to the inner corner and the upper brow bone there. So next I'm actually going in with a blush palette. It has powder from before all over it. Um, and this is a big daddy here, you guys. This is a huge palette. This is the Classic Blush 10 Color Blush Palette. It says it's long wearing mattes and satins. And 
I was really truly shocked at the price of this one, you guys. Like, I was like, this has to be wrong. It's $3.60 for 10 blushes. I don't know if all the shades are gonna work out great for me, but we're gonna try to make it work. As Tati Westbrook always says, you can make anything work. As long as you know how to multitask. So it comes in this plastic case. There's not a mirror in the top. It looks like this. These are the 10 blushes. Some of them are very fair. Some of them are a little deeper. In fact, this bottom one is so deep. I don't know if I can use that as a blush. I might actually try to use that as my bronzer slash contour. Um, and I also picked up one of their fan brushes it's called the Fan Brush 2 from their sale. And this was on sale for $4.60, which was one of the more expensive items, guys. I think the palette's the only thing that was more than that. But the reason I was drawn to this is because the shape of it and how it looked, it truly kind of reminded me of like a Scott Barnes brush dupe, um, which is, if you don't know, a very expensive makeup artist brand. Um, just with the way it's shaped, it reminded me of what I've seen where you can just get right into that pocket under your cheekbone there for contouring. Um, so I wanted to buy that and see how it works. I don't have any other blush brush that is this shape. Um, I guess it doesn't say it's a blush brush. It's a cheek fan brush. But I thought that was really cool. I want to try it out. Obviously, since the Scott Barnes brushes are so expensive, I don't own any of them. But I can still compare it to the other blush brushes and contouring brushes that I currently have in my collection. Um, it felt pretty good on my face when I just used it there, so I decided to splurge, because five bucks still isn't that much for a brush at the end of the day. So I'm gonna go in with that darkest blush tone and try to use that as contour. So while I think you could do this and get away with it, it still is leaning pink. So I don't think I would do this again in the future and use this shade as a bronzer or contour moment because it just leans too much with a pink undertone. It did warm up the face though some, so that's good. Um, I'm actually not going to do the rest of my blush with this palette. I'm going to switch over because I got two different uh, blushes with the sale that they were running. So the other blush I got was the Floral Blush Duo Cheek Color. And this guy was $2.40 and I got it in shade Fiji Fun. This wasn't originally the shade I actually wanted, you guys, but... Um, they were actually sold out. So it looks like this. It's actually got two different colors. Um, I'll see if I can get an angle here where you can see it. But the flower is more of like a bronzy color. It's darker than the outside that's a pink. But I'm sure you're supposed to mix them. It's got a little mirror on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as my actual blush. So I definitely think this brush is amazing to get into that contour bronzing spot but I don't think this is my favorite as a blush brush. So I'm gonna switch back to my large angled uh, Luxie brush. This is kind of like my go-to blush brush. I just feel like it fits the contours of my face personally better. This glitter does have a little bit of like a shimmery. It's not glitter per se, but it does have shimmer. So if you don't like that, um, you'd probably like that really big palette of blushes that are all matte better than you would this tiny little one, but I really like it. It's nice. So far I'm saying like these products seem like they're working well. I think I've tried literally one item from BH Cosmetics before this video. Um, and I just wanted to try a new brand. Usually I'll try to look for sales when I'm trying a new brand. That way I don't feel like I'm out a bunch of money if it doesn't work out. 
And I'll be honest, the one thing I tried was an eyeshadow palette before and I really didn't like it. So I'm glad that I gave it another chance. Um, there were a few other things in the sale that I got. First up, I wanted some more brush holders. Um, I'm trying to redo this room and make it look a little bit better. These were only $2.15 and they feel so nice. They're like really leathery feel. Like it feels like real leather. I'm sure it's not, um, but they look really nice. I was finding, I was putting all my brushes in bags and I was like having to dig to try to find the one I wanted. So I thought maybe I could find them a little bit better if I displayed them in this way. Um, so I got two of those for $2.15. And then for $2, I get this tiny little mini angled kabuki brush. Um, just because I've been wanting to try the body dry oils from Seoul, which is ColourPop's sister brand. And I think these are like $12 for these brushes, like from ColourPop. Ugh. I've not had a good experience with ColourPop lately, you guys. Again, if you haven't seen my last video, you should watch that because there was some drama and I'm still honestly pretty salty about it. So I'm not saying I'll never buy from them again, but I don't think I'll ever buy lipsticks from them again. And it's gonna be a while before I buy palettes from them again, again because I'm just salted beyond. Um, so maybe I'll get from Seoul, which is still technically ColourPop. It's like their sister brand, but um, I also have a different body oil type thing that I want to use up first. Um, and I wanted this brush for application for two bucks. That seems like a no brainer. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face since, like I said, this wasn't a full face full of BH Cosmetics. It was just things I got from the sale and I will be right back. Okay, so here's the finished look, guys. I just want to zoom in a little bit to show you how much that eyeshadow does look better once you add liner and lashes. Um, I did go a little basic today on purpose. Um, after those New Year's Eve glam looks, I just wanted something more simple. And yeah, I really like how this turned out. I think this would be great everyday makeup for anyone. Um, let me get, know what you guys think of BH Cosmetics and if you've used any of their their uh, products. I think they are very well reasonably priced. Wow, I forgot a highlighter. First primer, now highlighter. What? Who am I? Okay, there she is with a little highlight. We cannot go without that little bit of beaming on our faces there. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the other thing I want you guys to tell me in the comments below is kind of an idea I've had, well not that I've had, that I've thought about doing. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing the Project Pan 20 products in 2020, which is basically a way of trying to use up products in your collection and keeping you guys updated on can you actually go through all those products in a year. Um, when you're not exclusively using only those products. I think I'm going to do it whether you guys are interested in me filming the process or not just to narrow down some of my collection as it started to get a little too big and out of hand. Um, but let me know if you guys would be interested in me filming a video telling you which products that I'm going to focus on during this year. Um, if not, maybe I'll just log it on my Instagram. Um, but let me know in the comments below. If you have not already, please click the subscribe button. I mean, you made it all the way to the end of the video, right? So you might as well. I mean, I have a pretty good radio voice. So if nothing else, you know, sound of my voice being soothing while you're going about your day, doing your things, you just want something on the TV or listening to it at night, go ahead and click subscribe. I know, I know, you, you're not gonna regret it. Just go ahead and click it right down there, subscribe. Have a great one, you guys.